Hey everybody and welcome back. It's day 27 and it's gonna be us and these bad boys. So first exercise is going to be squat shoulder press. We've done this before and now it's all about getting that squat deep high up as fast as we can. So it's still 40 seconds, 20 seconds off, but we will be doing two exercises twice through and then three exercises twice through. So the first one, bring it all the way down, lift it all the way up. Just that. Okay, get ready, shoulders back, core in, and we go. Down, lift it up. So every time you come up, just open that, those hips, squeeze the glutes, keep that core in, extend those arms, watch you're not taking your head up, keep that still, drop it all the way down. And now we are going as deep and as fast as you can. So you can play with this if you do this again that you can count how many you do in the first round and you have to match that in the second round. We're taking it all the way up, all the way down. Few more seconds. Last one, well done. Now we're doing burpees. So we've done those normal burpees where we jump it back into a squat thrust, bring it back in and jump it all the way up. Now we're gonna bring it down to the floor. So it's the same principle. We shoot those feet up or we're gonna lie down. So I want you to come all the way down, then all the way up, jump it up. Go with me. Down from here, you have to use your core. Into that squat, keep those legs wide, all the way up into that jump, back down. So I'm dropping it all the way down. So watch as you're coming down to the floor that your elbows are close to your body. So you're working those triceps as well. So try not to have that open position. Come here, all the way back up, jump it up. So one continuous movement of fun. There we go. Well done, and just breathe it. And we're just gonna repeat these two. So get those water bottles, have some water if you want, breathe. And we're gonna be doing those again. So those burpees are fantastic to do. If you find this, them too hard, just stick to the normal ones. But first, we're coming here. All the way down, all the way up. So after those burpees, you're really gonna start feeling those squats. But try as much as you can to kind of stick to a rhythm that you can keep for those 40 seconds. So don't go too fast in the beginning and then you have to stop to take a break. Rather, keep it at that steady pace, still pushing yourself, but you're not stopping because we wanna work on that stamina as well now. So all the way down, all the way up. Well done, bring them down. Get ready for those burpees. So we're coming all the way down to the floor. So get those shoulders back. Do you know what? There's often people are not fans of burpees, but they're one of the best things to do for your entire body. So just try to embrace them a bit. Bring it all the way down, back up, jump it through. So check each place you're at. Check on your position. Check that you're not bringing your toes up. Both, not only when you come in, but also when you're coming down. So out of the squat jump, you need to have your feet wide. Because as soon as you're like that, you're gonna be doing this when you come down. There and there. So that's not what we want, or this. So just bring it into that squat. So think if you have a normal mat, try to keep your feet welcome, breathe on the edge of the mat. Yeah, so that will work and then you can see the squat. So we're done with those two. Next we're doing, we're coming into a kneel, which we've done before, where you move it, you don't drop it down. We're coming back up, we're jumping it forwards, we're jumping it backwards. Go with me. Kneel it, walk it, into that squat, don't come out of that squat. Jump it forwards, jump it backwards. And again, drop it all the way down. And now try as you come down to alternate your legs. So don't come always down, 
on the right leg. Think left, left up, then right, right first up. And we just keep on changing. As you're jumping backwards, try to make it the equal length to the forward jump, which is really hard because jumping backwards is a bit of a killer. And we go. Rest it. So shake those legs. Next one that we're doing, we're doing for 20 seconds on each leg. So we're coming into a static lunge. So we're coming into that deep lunge and we're just gonna move that forward leg sideways. But we're gonna bounce it a bit. So come down with me, get ready. And we're just moving it sideways. So I'm coming up a little bit. I'm not moving my way back. I'm just taking it sideways. So every time I land, I go a bit further down, lift out of it to move it, go a bit further down. Five seconds on this leg. Two, one, change it. Other leg forwards, same thing. So watch you don't get stuck in just doing this. Yeah, I want you to bounce it. So every time you're getting that back knee down, every time you land. There we go. Shake it out. We just have one more. So we're coming down into that plank. And we're gonna move that bottle in that plank. We've done that before with a tea towel, but now we're gonna use the bottle just to get a bit of an extra weight. So from there, we come down, we move it to the side, bring it down, move it to the other side. So that's it. We're only doing that. We're trying to stay really still. There. As we pick that arm up. There, so every time you pick up the right hand to get the bottle, feel like you're dropping that right side a little bit because naturally it wants to come up. So when you lift it, it naturally wants to do that. So you have to go against it. A little bit drop it to hold that right position. Keep it going. One more. And breathe. So we just have three more exercises to do one more time. Simple. You know what they are. So let's get right back into it. So we're coming into that kneel, jump it forward, jump it backward. Okay. Four seconds. Bring it back. Get ready. So just remember, you're not coming down like that and up like that. We're stepping it down. There, into that squat. Staying down, jump it forward. Equal back, other leg. So keep on alternating. Now, if you find when you're coming out of that kneeling position that you don't have any space, open up your legs. So then take them wider and have them turned out. Because this gives you much more space than this. So then, you just come in here. So bring them out. Jump it out like that, and back. Well done. Shake it again. So we're into that static lunge. So think it's almost like a squat. So when you do a squat, and you're pulsing in the squat, you're coming down and up. So you're doing that movement. So it's the same movement with these static lunges. So we still wanna go up and down. There. So you can feel your back leg as you move it, come up a little bit. As you land, it should go back down. See, this is also very good for your core. So we take it to the side, to the side. We have four more seconds. Good, change it on the leg. Keep it going. 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. So even if I stop, you cannot stop because this workout is for you. See, and we have, shake that leg out and we have the last one. Come all the way down, take that bottle. We're coming into that plank again. Get your shoulders back, tuck that core in. So close it off before you even go. So the body knows what it's doing. Bring it all the way down, open up your legs. Keep it tucked and move it. 
So this one, as soon as you start doing it fast, so even if you're getting better and stronger, I don't want you to do it faster. So that's, that's not the progression of this one. Then you just add more weight or you bring the weight further out. So you have to reach even further. But the speed is never gonna make it harder. It's just gonna make you lose that core connection that you've been building up so much. So always just take your time with this one. And if you get tired, just come down on your knees for a second and then go again. Two. Well done, everybody. We're done for today. Back tomorrow.